Now, right, here's the kit that I got. It's from a company called iCrimp, and it's pretty nice. It's got three quarter and half inch. And this, I'll show you here in a little bit. That right there is the cut PEX, and that right there cuts the rings off of the PEX fittings so you can reuse it. And, you know, we're not living in the past anymore. These uh, brass fittings to use with PEX, they ain't cheap. It's not cheap enough that you can afford to throw it out. As you can see over here, we got some stubs here. And that's what your finished product is going to look like. You've got your crimps, and um, I just got some brass plugs in that. But I used this kit to do that, and now we're going to crawl up underneath the tub and I'll show you how to cut. Now we do have some water still in the line, so there'll probably be a leak. But I'll show you how to cut it, paste it, and then I'll also show you how to retrieve those plugs so we don't waste that money. Let's that is the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut that off. And when you cut these, try to get as close as you can to your fitting, as that's gonna make uh, getting this O-ring, or this ring, I keep calling them O-rings, just this ring off and then retrieving your end plug here. And like I said, with this one, some water is going to come out of there, so. <laughs> cool. And I'm going to use this tool right here and just make my little cut. A little farther down. There we go. And some water is going to come out all over the phone and probably ruin it. Hopefully y'all can see that. i got to pull this back off. I just put it on there to hold it from losing too much water. And we're going to slide our ring on and stuff it back in there. If you take a look, now that I've got my hands free, I'll pick up the camera. If you take a look there, you can see about one eighth of an inch at most is the gap you want. You don't want that ring too far up and you don't want it too far down. You want it to be able to catch the whole thing, right? So I'm gonna put that back down. Hopefully you can see what's going on. And we're gonna make a crimp. You can see some of the water coming up. So to crimp it, this tool slides up over. Make sure you have full connection and squeeze. And there you see it up close here. You just get it wrapped around there, squeeze, open it back up, pull that off, and there is all she wrote. That is how easy it is to replace a connection. A lot easier than getting solder and flux and everything else in there to uh, to try to swage a fitting, so to speak. So I'm gonna hook up the other one and then let me show you the other half of that tool where you can cut off the old rings and replace or keep those old plugs and those old pieces when you're redoing a remodel. All right, so the last part of this I wanna show you out of this kit here is this and really, this is like the most valuable part in this thing because we can save our very expensive ends, right? This thing here splits <laughs> splits our crimp rings so that we can reuse these. I don't know if I'll be able to slide this off. Usually they get kind of stuck on there, but yeah, I'll probably have to get a screwdriver. No, it's coming. Mm -hmm. Do you know what centering is? There you go. So that's how you break those apart and save that. That's, that's like five, six bucks right there. Yeah. And uh, and this tool's, I don't know, the leverage needed for it, but it's pretty stout. Of course, if you cut it too far down, it won't reach all the way to the edge there. And so you have to be careful when you set these in here that, and you can see here how it just snaps right through that. And if I press any harder, I could snap the other side. I just wanted to show you here. Now, these rings aren't reusable, but they're not all that expensive. But these things are expensive. And then if you got faucets or stuff like that, and you want to be able to reuse those faucets, you know, you don't want to throw that stuff away. There was probably a time when it wouldn't be too bad to do that, but that time has passed, my friends. These things ain't cheap. What is cheap in 2024, right? Anyway. You can also use this to cut the plastics on too. This thing's just being a bear, so you can see. Yeah, whatever it's made out of, it's pretty sharp stuff because it'll actually split that and loosen it up enough to get that out. 